Oh, explain, uh, just while we're here, in case some people don't know, uh, what ADR is and how that works, just since you brought it up. I hated doing ADR. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of, I really, I, well, I, I, I don't, I, I mean, I, usually because you're watching yourself on a screen, you've got headphones on and you hear this horrible beep, 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 <laughs> talk. And then you have to match your lips exactly. And it's a scene you did like maybe a month ago. So it's hard to remember exactly where you were emotionally. I mean, it's, that's really where the craft of an actor comes in because you're recreating a moment that you spent you know, two weeks getting ready for or however long getting ready for and you spent a whole day shooting this scene and now you're here and you're just doing your side, you don't have the other actor, you just have your face to look at and you just have your lips to match. So I, I, find it really, I find it really difficult, and bravo if you do it well. I'm one of those weird people that kind of gets off on uh. trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like doing English dubbing. To so that's what the ADR is. It's, it's you're replacing... What additional it, dialogue additional recording. Dialogue automated. Uh, I mean automated. Automated. Automatic. Yeah. Automatic. Recording. Yeah. It's, uh, automatic. It's not automated at all. No, <laughs> so, but no it's not. It's a weird name. But, <laughs> but well, because it keeps recycling, so it comes out. Well, they do, but yeah. Say it no, again. What it stands for? A automated a dialogue replacement. Replacement. But you're on a sound dead sound stage, as opposed to the set where you had the whole energy of the set going, and like Lily said, you're trying to recreate energy that you let go of a month ago, or on a feature it might be six months ago. I mean, it can be a long, long time. You say, uh, what, what was the scene about again? And, they can, and, and then you just do this line over and over again. By and large, as far as I'm concerned, ADR is a last ditch effort to try to salvage something <laughs> that just couldn't be done in the editing room. Because we've got all the takes in the editing room and we'll go through everything and try to stretch it out. We'll go to the dialogue editor and see what they can do because their machines allow them to be to cut the track and adjust the track even more fine than we can on our avid editing machines. And sometimes it just can't be done. Or maybe there's a, a jet flying overhead or something like that. And so as soon as you come to the cut, that big <laughs> like that. You know, and it's just, uh, uh, you know, so, you know, those kind of things we can't uh, always fix. And I'll let you take it there, well, maybe. sometimes, like, you know, you're in a scene and a jet goes by, but it's 2020. It's not 1820, right? Where you're doing a Western and you hear the jet go by. So, so, you know, we try really hard. I mean, I don't like, I don't like to put an actor through ADR because you're right, you're in a dead space. But, you know, there are some tips that we can give you to do, to, to recreate that. And I worked with a very famous basketball player and it was really hard for him to do the ADR because, first of all, he was so competitive with himself. He really wanted to do it well. And so finally, and you know, this is having experience working with sound editors and things like that, is that you say to this person, okay, we're going to run the line, and I want you to close your eyes and say the line. And nine times out of ten, it works because you're not watching yourself, you know, and then you're looking at yourself like, I hate my haircut, what's wrong with my makeup? Why did she pick that take? You know, so you, all this stuff is going on in your brain. And so, so I think that, you know, when you get into a certain place and you can always say to the editor, because it's usually the editor, I mean, I run all the ADR sessions because my director is off doing something else. And so, you know, I try to make them as comfortable as possible. And there have been times when an actor has come in and go, where's the rest of my, my, my scenes? You know, what happened? And usually, you know, a, a director will call an, a, a, an actor and say, look, I'm really sorry because of time constraints. We had to cut, you know, cut your scene out. But then a lot of times they come and it's the first time they've ever seen it put together. And it's very jarring, you know, for them. You know, I've had actress come in and say, why did you use that take? I like the take where I was crying. I go, well, you know, inside my head is, well, it's over the top. 
People don't want really to see actors crying. They want you to hold that emotion. To me, it's more emotional holding that back. Let us cry. Let the audience cry along with you. Um, I I, so, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say uh, to that point, don't be afraid to ask to look at your scene over and over again. Don't put pressure on yourself that here they're going to play it for you once and then here we go. If you don't feel comfortable, it's okay to ask to see it as many times as you need. And if you don't feel like you, you hit it, ask to do it again. It's okay. It and really uh, is. Don't feel like, especially if you're a guest star on a show, yeah. don't feel like, oh, I'm just the little guest star and I, I, you know, I can't ask uh, for this. Because they want it right. That's right. And I was going to say, the thing is, too, like it, again, from the television side of things, ADR is going to happen every episode. So there's definitely ways to fix it, and there's, and there's probably a lot of times they could fix it through sound, but they choose just to do ADR. And so it's a very good talent to work on <laughs> because you will do ADR. And, um, and the truth is, in television, you very well likely may be working with the post producer. So you won't have a director, you won't have an editor, you won't have anyone really in a creative position there on, uh, in the room or across the country or in different countries, whatever, running the ADR session with anyone that really knows what that scene is about, knows where that other actor was, knows where you were. So, so it's your responsibility in that moment to get what you feel like was needed there. And, and that's when they'll come to you with notes. This is what the producer, it's usually a producer, by the way, that in television that's going to ask for the ADR. Um, so it, I, as an editor, I always try to fix because the truth is not only is it bad for the actor to have to do ADR, it's bad for sound because it never sounds right either. It's shot somewhere else, different mic, different setup, so it stands out anyway. Um, but in the instance, but just typically, there's ADR in every television show every time. So you should know how to do it. And just so you know, very often that post producer that's running the ADR session is like two years out of college, and uh, so and they're coming to, and they come into the editing room and tell you how to recut the scenes. And so yeah, you know, and you know so. But uh, I know when, whenever any other any actor says, "Well, I cried in the other take," I say, "Well, this one made me cry." So let me just. Uh,